What is going on, Kryptonian family? Hope we're all having a great day today. Rezo and I, we're going to be uh, looking at a couple NFT projects. One of them is a game. The other one, just a project in general that includes NFTs, which uh, Rezo himself will explain all of it and show you off some NFTs and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get that going. So first things first, we're starting off with Sinverse, which is a NFT game project. It is a uh, multiplayer shooter game. And we're going to start off with a video on YouTube that shows some gameplay. So let's get that going. Let Welcome turn down the volume. The it's a little loud. Sinverse is an open world play to earn online game where you can reap the rewards of living out your very own mafia fantasies. It's the world's very first R-rated metaverse where you can buy land and develop it into a profitable business or your very own personal Sinverse paradise. Come it's got a uh, GTA feeling to it. Pays. Sinverse is made up of 17 different districts, each with their own unique properties, land types, and factions. Your district will determine Cartel what district. you can undertake and what kind of business licenses are available. So choose your locations wisely. So as you see, you can choose all your these different locations, different factions. Gang, commit crimes, and There's a bunch of rival gangs and whatnot. All while raising your faction standing and earning tokens while you play. So the more you raise your faction standing, the more tokens you earn. Parcels of land to choose from. So there's tons of opportunity to buy land. So as you see, you can buy land in these areas, reality, like Chinatown and, and whatnot. Your own Sinverse business empire. And you can just uh, customize can it fully, which is NFT great. Or rent your land and get you can sell other or rent. But choose your district and allegiances wisely, because the most powerful people will make decisions that impact the entire metaverse. Every two months, Sinverse conducts new land sales, so you can claim your territory strategically while you plot your faction's takeover. To access the land sales, you'll need a minimum of 5,000 Sin tokens, which you can stake for generous high-yielding rewards. This open-world empire-building game will support both advanced voice and text chat, and has been developed on the Unity engine. So as you see, there is voice and text chat. Blockchain. Our play to earn model creates a robust digital economy. Play to earn, players, which is always a nice feature. To earn and sell NFTs as they play, including the land parcels, weapons, casino tickets, and so much more. Sinverse is also considered an omniverse, offering third-party projects an opportunity to build their ecosystem. So that's their partners right there. You see them. Metaverse. You can pause the video if you want to just so read all of them. So what are you waiting for? Buy your land and plot your rise up the ranks to become a kingpin in the sinverse so as you guys see that's pretty much the basic idea of this project and now we can move on to uh things such as their roadmap and their features and whatnot so let's go ahead and start with their features of their sinverse so they got the metaverse they got the gaming ecosystem and the omniverse and we got the land types over here we have private lands district lands public roads public lands and as of the roadmap right here you see that they starting uh, first or second quarter of 2021, which is their release period. We got fourth quarter of 2021, which is their estimated release period for their uh, pre-sale and IDO launch. And for the uh, fourth quarter of 2021, it's gonna be the initial land sale phase one. Open world development reveals will be also in first quarter of this year, which is 2022, obviously. And opening of NFT business license office and CEX listings will be the second quarter of 2022 as well, or estimated release of it at least. And demo reveals and alpha gameplay, which uh, is supposed to be the second to third quarter of 2022, which is not out yet. And as of the launch of Sinverse Open World, that is the fourth quarter of 2022, which is also estimated. So we're not 100% sure if it will actually come out the fourth quarter or not, but we are hoping it does. And once again, these are their partners over here. You could pause the video, take a take a good look at it, read all of them if you want to. And uh, down here is their social media platforms, which will always, uh, as always, will be linked under the 
video in the description. And then you could look at their game info right here, their game story, Hunter be hunted, brains or brawn, get the hostile takeover tools, lead, conquer, become the kingpin. And then you can do the staking over here, which is full at the moment. And here you can exchange uh, through these uh, platforms for some tokens. And you can join a whitelist here, which is an application. So you're gonna have to enter your email, your wallet address, uh, province, city, gold NFT code, and the amount of plots you wanna purchase. Which once again, it's like an application. So you're gonna definitely have to wait once you uh, send that in. And this is their developer team. You got Catelyn, Catalin, who is the community and marketing manager. Constantine, which is the chief technical officer. Rutherford or Rutherford, which is their chief operations officer. This is a very odd name and I'm gonna absolutely butcher it. But here we go, Mar Marwan, which is their chief executive officer. And this is their advisor or one of their advisors, Jamie Thompson, which is the CEO. And uh, that's really about it for this uh, project. Once again, everything will be in the description below the video. If you wanna take a look at it for yourself, you can go ahead, read for yourself, get everything out of the way when it comes to like specific details and whatnot. So yeah, and that is it for this project. And now we'll be introduced to the second project by yours truly, Rezo. Hey guys, so this is a project that claims to be a metaverse bridge, right? And I may or may not be associated with this. So yeah, so let's look at this. So the URL is just arcadenet.io. They are, it is made by Arcade Network, right? And they claim that uh, you can transfer assets from one game to another. So let's kind of look at the website. So, um, ever wish that you could transfer your favorite battle axe from one game to another? So you can, you'll be able to transfer assets, transfer characters. So their website is actually pretty interactable, right? Like over here, you can have a stump leg. Oh, I like that. Uh, let's kind of look at uh, what platforms they're kind of going for, right? So you can buy this on the Mexi Global Exchange, Pancake Swap, Coin Market Cap. The yeah, pretty standard stuff, right? Uh, they claim to be on um, uh, the Nintendo Switch, and you can transfer that over to your PC game. Pretty cool stuff, right? So the Arc Module Suite kind of includes the Arc Minter, which uh, may or may not be uh, just a um, NFT minter or an ERC20 token minter, right? And you can mint your assets for free. Uh, there's an ARC marketplace where you can sell those assets. Uh, there's a relayer bridge which essentially can transfer your um, tokens from one game to another. Uh, there's a note case and then there's ARCverse, right? Which is for, uh, for all the game developers. So kind of, let's kind of look at this little animation that they have. So you have the source metaverse, right? You want to export your gun to another game, right? And you can click on export. And now you have this with the robot character. So yeah, kind of cool stuff. Uh, these guys uh, have uh, currently only come out with their token. Uh, it's still in the works, right? And I may or may not be responsible for when <laughs> that happens, right? So transfer, uh, uh, the transfer of in-game assets from one metaverse to another, right? Pluggable SDKs uh, for grim creators. So um, SDK just means uh, software development kit, right? So you'll be able to use this SDK to uh, develop games, essentially. So they're providing almost everything for you. Uh, also the aggregation of gaming data on a single platform, right? So mobile games account for 51% of the global uh, gaming revenue. 
if you guys didn't know, uh, mobile games are huge, right? Um, the amount of money that comes from mobile gaming is just trumps uh, PC, uh, your consoles, anything that you can think of, right? All right, so the world's first metaverse uh, money market, right? High traffic, high visibility, good stuff. Uh, you can join the arcade network, right, by becoming a champion. If you click on this, uh, you come to this page, uh, which explains uh, how you can apply. <laughs> and let's kind of look at the roadmap. Yeah, so their Minter was launched back in January, right? And uh, the arcade, the Arc Marketplace, the Arc, uh, the partner NFT sale, is still under production. Right. Although these are estimated uh, dates, but they are running a little bit behind. Um, I can fully disclose that I am not part of this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's move on to the game and partners. Right. So I may or may not be associated with one of these companies, but uh, these are the game investors, uh, partners, um, investors, technology, and featured by all of this, right? Pretty cool stuff. It's really backed by a lot of money, right? So it's it's going to be a huge project. That's uh, that's what we can see from here. Uh, does their socials are kind of linked down below, right? So Discord, uh, Reddit, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, and whatnot, right? But what we are interested in is this ARC contract address, right? So when we click that, you can see that this is on BSC scan, right? And BSC essentially stands for Binance Smart Chain, which is kind of like Ethereum, uh, the Ethereum uh, chain, right? But it has a few quirks of its own. Uh, but essentially, as a developer, uh, developing smart contracts for BSC, it is very similar to uh, Ethereum, right? There is a um, uh, there is a middleware, quote unquote middleware, called Morales. If anybody is interested, Morales.io, right? And here you can uh, kind of just go and uh, see. Uh, as a developer, you can connect to different networks. They give you like. Uh, access points essentially right and they handle uh, almost most of the conversion and whatnot so you can see that uh, we can see all of the transfers so this is an ERC20 token right with a total supply of uh, 229 million arc that's their token uh, when we go over to the contract we don't see their code right this is mainly because they haven't verified it or they want to keep it hidden, right? But you can see the contract information, like the owner, uh, balance of a particular person, uh, the number of decimals. So if you guys didn't know what this decimals essentially means, is that um, every token has uh, 18 zeros associated with it. So if you have one token, you have one with 18 zeros attached to it. If you have 10 tokens, you have 10 with 18 zeros. So that's what the decimals mean. Um, you can see that the symbol is ARC. Uh, the owner address is here. So you can kind of click on it and see uh, all of the uh, transactions that this uh, account has done, right? And whatnot. So it's actually pretty big. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the metaverse, right? So the metaverse can be kind of um, explained in terms of NFTs in the sense that every item within the metaverse is an NFT. So for example, this stored over here would be an NFT. Uh, if we scroll down again to this animation over here, so this gun would be an NFT, right? And all you're doing is kind of exporting uh, since you will own that NFT, you'll be able to export that from one game to another, right? So you can own the entire metaverse, you can own plots of lands, 
uh, you can own assets within it, right? It's huge. So yeah, that's uh, about it uh, for this. I, pr I like the, um, the website a lot. Yeah. And they're doing pretty good stuff. Awesome. Okay, and that is it for the uh, video. And uh, before we conclude the video and end it, I just want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Tell us what you want to see next. Tell us what projects you want us to promote, talk about, go in depth and detail of what they're doing, why it's worth uh, you know investing in or playing a game that's uh, NFT project related. Anything in general, really, you know, when it comes to crypto or NFT market. And that's it for the video. And thank you all very, very much. And goodbye.